What's up guys, my name is Max. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create a custom UI table view cell in Swift 3.0. And definitely leave a like and subscribe. Definitely, definitely, let's get started. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click Xcode and create a new Xcode project. Um, you can call it whatever you'd like. Uh, I'm gonna call it Custom Awesome Cell. Yeah. And uh, once you've done that, just uh, hit Finish, Create, and uh, go ahead and go into your main.storyboard. And we're gonna wanna actually delete the view controller. Um, let's see. So go ahead and delete that and add in a UI table view controller. What we're gonna do with this is we're gonna set up our UI table view obviously and go ahead and hit an is initial controller, view controller, so it loads up when we actually start. Go into your view controller and name this, uh, I don't know, awesome UI table view controller. Cause yeah, they're pretty awesome. Okay, so, and make it of a subclass of UI table view controller. All right, uh, once you've done that, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna actually delete all this, except for the view to load, just delete that. And uh, uh, delete that too, uh, we'll write it later. And then, uh, let's see, so uh, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna create a new file, and this is gonna be our custom cell, so do custom, or Cocoa Touch class and subclass of UI table view cell. And name it sudded or whatever you want. Mine's gonna be sudded. And oh crap. Go back and hit also create file nib file and then hit next. Alright, what that's gonna do is that's gonna give us our Swift file as well as a nib file we can work with. So go ahead and just make it like a hundred. You can name, make it whatever you want, but just remember what you've uh, made it because we have to put that value elsewhere later on. Okay, and go ahead and put a switch on here because switches are dope and we like switches. And then go ahead and do a label as well. Uh, make that label pretty big, maybe even bigger. Go ahead and center it. Put the font up quite a bit, 28 is pretty nice, and uh, put this over. Let's actually make this not 100, let's make it 80. And let's go ahead and put this in the center, put this in the center, and then command all, reset to suggested constraints, and we're gonna, it's just gonna set some constraints for those items right there. Also, name, you're gonna wanna name this, uh, you're gonna wanna give the, uh, custom table view cell a reuse identifier. That's just gonna give it, allow us to reuse it so it saves memory and such. And all sorts of dope stuff. So go ahead and name it, I don't know, sudded or cell or whatever. Or, yeah, that's good. And then uh, what you're gonna wanna do in here is you're just gonna wanna delete all this code in sudu.swift and actually go back into here and just hit the assistant editor up here so we can just pull it up and uh, now that we got that open, just link these. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is name this switch button and then just hit connect. Then do it again and hit, do the, call it the same thing, switch button and uh, make it an action so we can change some stuff. And then go ahead and connect label and just call that label. Okay, now that we got that connected, what we're gonna wanna do is we are going to want to open view controller dot swift and we are gonna want to um, we're gonna want to create a struct that we can hold our cell data with so we can hold multiple cells that we're gonna create in the table view delegates. Um, so go ahead and type struct. Uh, for me I'm gonna do cell data and then I'm just gonna give that a, uh, a couple attributes. Let's go with, uh, I don't know, let text 
because we're going to have to keep control of the label text and the color. So let's go text, string, and then after that, let's do UI. We could do color. We don't have to, but it will, it will allow us to have a custom color for each cell. I'm going to do white gray, but you guys should change up the cells if, if you'd like. So go ahead and in your uh, class, what we're going to want to do is we're actually going to want to re write that view to load that I deleted earlier. And right above that, we want to hold our data. So let's call, uh, let's make an array, data array is equal to so, so data, and then parentheses. All right, so that's gonna have us, give us a data structure that we can hold our stuff with. So go ahead and in here, uh, I'm not just gonna put it in here like this as, which is technically better, easier, but I'm gonna do it like this so it's more readable. Go ahead and type data array dot append, and it's gonna say new element, and basically we're gonna be putting a cell data object in there. So let's go, and we're gonna create it in here as well. So go call cell data, and then it will pop that up. If it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't, just type those things in. Just type in the attributes that are up here and fill them in with a string. I'm gonna do, please, and then for the color, I'm just gonna do UI color dot light gray. I, I found that that looks best whenever I use cells. Okay, so what, oh yeah, you just gotta close this off. And then we're gonna wanna do this four times. And just name them whatever you want. I'm gonna do please subscribe to my dope. channel dudes all right and um, so once you got that uh this should go away yeah okay so we're good on errors uh go ahead and let's type in the delegate functions for our table view so just type in table and then the first one we're gonna do is uh let's see number of rows and sections yeah we're gonna need that so we're gonna need three functions uh and I'll explain to these after I write them all. So go uh, table view, and then we're gonna need cell for row at, and then do another one, and that's gonna be height for row at. And yeah, that's all we need. So for the first one, number of rows in section, we're just gonna want, it's just gonna, it's basically just asking us how many rows we want in the table view. Uh, just return data array dot count. And uh, also, uh, I suggest, uh, before I say stuff like that in the future, just like kind of try and pause it maybe and figure out how to do it on your own because that's what has taught me the best in the past when viewing other people's YouTube videos. So if I give it an attempt at, my, at myself before I look further into their video. So uh, go ahead and for this one, sell for row at. Let's actually move that to the bottom because that's going to require a little bit more code than height for row at. For height per row at, this is where, where I, uh, we're going to need that height of the uh, thing, this deal that I talked about earlier that you'd need to remember. It looks like we made it, I think it, it was 80. Yeah, just return 80 if you made it 80. Return 100 if you made it 100. And then, uh, yeah, that's all you need for that. That's just going to tell us how high we want, or how, yeah, how high we want each row. And in uh, cell for row at, this is where we're gonna actually put the cell together, give it some of the stuff we want it that's listed up here. Let cell is equal to bundle, let's see, bundle dot main dot, what was it? Um, load nib named, and then we're gonna wanna say sudude, and that's where this comes in. That's where the actual name of this comes in, the identifier, so we can reuse it. Um, go ahead and in view controller, we're just gonna fill owner with self and then options with no, and then type a question mark dot, um, uh, what was it, dot first as, and then the name of the, the custom cell. So I do. And uh, basically what we're gonna do after this is we're gonna set all the attributes of 
SUSL data, which is basically going to translate into our switch button or label. So go ahead and let's set the text of the label. So we're going to want to go through each one of these data, each one of these SUSL data. So we're just going to go take the index path, and basically what this function is giving us is a location for each cell. It's like a loop almost, but it's not. Um, and go ahead and do label.text and uh, go ahead and we're going to take the text from one of our objects in the array equals data array at index path dot row dot text. So that's going to grab the text in each one of these for each cell and put it in there. Go ahead and cell dot um, background color. And I actually suggest putting in a few different colors in here just so you can kind of tell what it does. Um, I'm just going to keep it like that because it looks nice and I'm OCD. Okay, so cell dot background color is equal to data array at index path dot row dot color. Okay, now cell dot selection style equals dot none. Basically what we're doing here is we're making it so we can't select the cells like you would in a normal table view and that will remove the highlight that we have. Well, we can still select them, but selection style is just going to show us it's not going to have a highlight over it when we touch it because it's we don't need it for our custom cell. Uh, delete that if you want to see what it does. Uh, and then go ahead and do return cell. All right, so now that we got that all set up, what we're going to want to do is uh, we're actually going to want to animate the text to come in because that would be cool. So in, let's see, in sudo.swift, this is where the switch button is for each one of those cells that we set up. So in here, uh, let's just type an animation. Uh, what we're going to want to do is check if the button is on or off because if it's on, we want the text to leave when we hit it off. And then if, if uh, it's off, we want it to come back in when we hit it on. So go ahead and do if switch button dot is on we're gonna go let's see uh, UI view uh, dot animate and just hit enter on the return on the first one time interval let's go uh, 0.5 I suggest you play with that that's how you learn these things is you you play with how they work and you learn them uh, don't just copy everything I'm doing because you won't learn as much that way and then right here just uh, put in a bracket left bracket and then just hit enter and it will fill that up uh, and then what we're gonna want to do is self dot label dot center dot x minus equals UI screen dot main dot bounds dot width what that's gonna do is that's gonna make it dip from the screen so uh, we're gonna want to actually uh, write this again but a little bit differently. Else, if the button is off, copy and paste this in here and do just do plus equals, and that's it. It will put it back on the screen. And that's so simple and it's so freaking cool because it's so easy. In main storyboard, uh, we actually forgot to connect this. So um, just go in main storyboard and connect it to whatever you called it back in view controller. I named it awesome UI table view controller and I'll show you what I'm talking about right here okay so just connect that go ahead and hit build and we should be in business okay so this is what we got yeah uh, it's got the text the custom text and the buttons let's see if the buttons work all right yeah that's that's working good all right, yeah, so that's it. If you liked the video, go ahead and subscribe. Please hit, hit the like button, and uh, yeah, I will be back with more coding videos. Peace out, my dudes. <laughs>